As soon as I saw it, I knew I was buying these. These are Ariat boots. Yesterday, I got the 20 items listed like I had hoped. That last garage sale, I picked up one item. I got an Affliction shirt, and I happened today to get a $40 offer and a $50 offer. In this video, I will be recording what I am listing, what I'm selling, and what I'm buying over the next two weeks. And I'll be keeping a tally up here. The goal is by the end of the video to have more listed than purchased. I just uploaded a video that was the last month showing the same thing. And while that video was uploading, I ran to Goodwill to get a VHS so I can test this VCR. And on my way to Goodwill, I stopped at a sale and I bought some stuff. So that purchase number is about to go up. I'm probably gonna show you guys that haul tomorrow night because I have some stuff here I wanna take care of tonight. It is the next morning and last night after I packaged up sales, I made two more sales of items from the recently listed items. So first I sold this black Victoria's Secret bra for $17.90 plus shipping. And this sold, no, it was $18 plus shipping and it sold in Poshmark. So Poshmark will take 360 in fees and I paid $3 for it. And so that is 18 minus 360 minus three, which is like, what, just over $11 is the profit I made on this bra. I also sold the 31 purse and this sold on eBay for $15 plus shipping. So I'm gonna go get these packaged up and then I'm gonna head to the post office to drop off all my sales. Last night was Monday night. And my goal last night was to get five new listings up, which I did get done. So I listed four Scentsies. So there's two rectangle ones in here and then these two. And then I also listed this bridge card table cover. One Scentsy sold last night and is this one. I was surprised that it sold because it is the smallest of the five and it also has staining in the lid from wax, which I pointed out in the listing. I did list it slightly lower than the others. I listed this one at 13 plus shipping, whereas the others are listed at 15 or 17 plus shipping. But um, I'm surprised that even just a couple dollars lower and in the condition it's in, it sold overnight. So I will get that shipped out tonight and then I'm gonna try to get five more listings up. It's been a few days since I updated you all. So Tuesday night and Wednesday night, I listed four items each and I listed the eight things I picked up at that professional sale in my last video. So three pairs of women's rock revival jeans got listed, and then the Dingo Cowboy boots, the Sam Edelman heels, the Keens, oh those actually I didn't pick up at the sale, I picked those up at a garage sale, but I got those listed, and the Piccolinos, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, and the Allegria, Mary boots. So those got listed Tuesday and Wednesday night. Then on Thursday night, <clears throat> I took a night off. My husband and I went out to eat for dinner, ran a bunch of errands, and I didn't get anything listed. And then Friday night, I got one, two, three, four, five new listings up. So I listed the Mucklucks that I picked up at a garage sale last week. I listed the Rothies from the professional sale. I also listed the two foam heads, <clears throat> again, that I showed last video, and I actually took modeling photos of them, which I'll put on the screen here, because um, I felt like they're, it's hard to tell what they are when you see the picture unless somebody is wearing them. So I modeled those, and again, I got those up on Friday night. So, so that means between Tuesday and Friday night, I listed, let's see, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13. 13 more items into my listed total. Yesterday was Saturday and I stopped at a couple garage sales. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up and that purchase number is going to go up by a few. First, I picked up these men's BKE jeans for $5. I love selling men's BKE jeans. They will, in my experience, definitely be like a, at least a $25 sale within a couple weeks. Um, this one isn't as popular of a style, so I'd started at 35, but I'm guessing I'm gonna have to lower down the price a little bit maybe to get that quick sale. But they are the style, the Tyson in a size 32 regular. And they do have a little bit of distressing. And I picked these up for $5, like I said, at a garage sale. Also that day I stopped at another garage sale and I picked up three items from that one. First is this vintage Tweety Bird sweatshirt in a size large, although 
I feel like this would work, fit like a women's, smaller women's medium. But yeah, it's a vintage Tweety sweatshirt. Looks like comps are between like $20 and $30. So especially around that $25 mark for those. And then I picked up a pair. Oh, and I paid $1 for those. Then I picked up a pair of Lucky Brands men's jeans at the same garage sale. They're the style, the 221 straight. Let me check comps on these because I actually haven't looked up comps. Okay, we got $29, 21, 22, 15, 23, 30, 28, 21. So it looks like 20 to $30 is what I should be able to get for these. And again, I paid $1 for them. They are men's Lucky Brand jeans. And I always check, check the crotch, make sure I don't have, you know, they'll be pilling in the crotch sometimes. Check the hems, make sure they look good. So everything looked good in these. Again, I paid a dollar, expecting to sell them for about $25. And then the last item I picked up at garage sale, I paid two dollars for these. Do you recognize that symbol? As soon as I saw it, I knew I was buying these. These are Ariat boots. I love reselling Ariat boots. Here is what they look like. And again, I only paid two dollars for these boots. They do have a paint mark somewhere. Uh, here it is. Paint mark right there. But they should still resell well. And I, these are a US size 7. And the only thing that I've listed so far of that um, pickup are those BKE jeans. Those are listed. So, okay, so now we're up to speed through Saturday morning. And then last night, so Saturday night, yesterday I was a bridesmaid in a wedding. And Friday night I had um, dress rehearsal, or not dress rehearsal, wedding rehearsal was Friday night. Saturday was a wedding. And then Saturday afternoon we went to a graduation. So, between Friday night and Saturday night, I didn't get too much listed. But last night I did list this antique photo album from like the 1870s. And some antique photo albums and specific pictures can be worth a lot of money. My friend Courtney at Common Tags sold one with a woman with really long hair. I forget what price, but I'll message her and get the comp and I'll put it on the screen. So I saw this um, photo album on an online auction and I picked it up. Like it was a local auction and it's just been sitting in my death pile because I wasn't sure how to list it and I was kind of second guessing how I should list it. But I did look through all the pictures in the album and I don't really have any really unique ones. It's all families or individuals. I started the whole album at $19.99 plus shipping and I started it on an eight day auction on eBay. So far I just started that, list that listing last night and I do have one watcher so far. So we will see how that auction ends up. But yeah, so that is now listed. So on the table over here, we have um, unlisted items. So like I said, these boots I picked up, these two items, this is actually listed, so I can move that to my listed pile. The fossil purse, I showed you guys that last video, haven't listed that yet. And then we have this food processor, which I think I'm going to part out and make a bunch of listings for the different parts in it. Haven't listed that. Then we have the VCR. I did start testing it. Um, which is why it's not behind me, but I ha still haven't listed that either. Too much later, I got all my listed items inventoried and put into the inventory spreadsheet as well as put into my inventory room. And while I was doing that, it was raining, but I think the rain has cleared now and there are a couple garage sales in the town just south of me. So I'm gonna go stop those garage sales. And then I had borrowed a bunch of bowls from one of my friends for the wedding yesterday. So I'm gonna go drop those off at her house. So. Let's go see what we can find at garage sales. And Jack is joining me. All right, there's a garage sale like just a couple blocks from my friend's house. So let's see if I can find anything. I dropped off the bowls at my friend's and now I'm at another sale, which you can't see, but it's in that garage over there. At that sale, I picked up one item. I got a pair of men's reef sandals in really nice condition for $2. They should sell for somewhere between 15 and 25. They also had a bunch of modern Raydon mugs. Vintage Raydon mugs can sell for hundreds or thousands, but the modern ones, they had some good resale value for a while, but the fat has kind of died out and they were asking five to $8 each. I did look up comps on a few of the ones they had and they were definitely not worth picking up. They were selling for under 10. So left those behind. I think I made the right choice there. And now I'm at the third and final sale. Back home now, that last garage sale, I picked up one item. I got an Affliction shirt, so Sinful by Affliction. Uh, I picked up three Af S Sinful by Affliction shirts. 
last weekend or two weeks ago and two of the three have sold for $20 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. So hoping that'll be a fast $20 sale. I paid $1 for it. So I decided, I decided to start with one of my difficult items first, which was this food processor. Here's the box. Unfortunately, if you look at the box and you look at the food processor, they are not the same. Uh, so this box is actually for a different food processor. So I looked up comps, so comparable sold listings for this food processor. And I also looked at what's currently for sale. There's one currently for sale that is this food processor. It's not yellowed at all, so it's still white. Uh, it has like five different blade attachments. It's in perfect condition, whereas this one, like I definitely need to put some work cleaning it up. There's a little bit of rust on the blade. And that one's listed, the really nice one in great condition with extra blades is listed at 30 plus shipping. And for me, if there's one in really good condition listed at 30 plus shipping, it is not worth the time for me to clean this up, test it, and I only have one blade that has a little bit of rust on it. I just don't think it is even gonna have that much of a desire anyways, even if I listed it at like 10, $15 plus shipping. Sorry, my camera died, so I had to get a new one. But I think what I was saying was that I got this food processor for free. So the only thing I'm out is the time I just spent researching it. But yeah, I am going to not list this. It is Monday, Memorial Day, and I'm on my way to another sourcing opportunity. I'm about to buy more stuff. So it crossed my mind on Saturday that I was pretty sure Salvation Army had either a 50% off sale on Memorial Day or Labor Day. So I checked their website and they do have it today. I don't know if it's both or just Memorial Day, but they have 50% off today in all their stores, or at least all of them in Des Moines. So I'm on my way to one now. I'm back from Salvation Army. I spent exactly two hours there and I picked up 15 items that were half off. So only the clothing was half off and I did get some shoes, but I, I love doing experiments and I thought of a fun experiment that I want to do with these 15 items. So as I was going through the store, I was seeing some brands that I kind of wanted to pick up, but I have had like so, so luck with them in the past. And so I decided I'm going to do a video where I list all of these items at $20 plus shipping and then see what sells. So examples of brands that are in here are J Jill, Toad & Co, Banana Republic, Brooks Brothers, Lane Bryant, um, Cut From The Cloth. All of these are brands that I've had mixed experience with, experiences with. Some things I've sold well, some haven't. So I tried to be picky and get like nice condition items that I think are good styles. And I'm hoping that means that a lot of them will sell within a week, but that's gonna be its own video. So I'm not gonna show you guys these 15 items, but you can add 15 to my purchase and I'll work on getting those listed and let you guys know if they get listed. Now, two items won't be in that video that I picked up today because they were shoes and they weren't half off. So first are these Cole Haan shoes. I just thought they were so pretty and I paid $9.99 for them. Hopefully that will come off. They are size seven and a half. And the other are these shoes by the brand Vintage Havana and they are a size eight and a half. And on eBay, the first listings that came up were all listed over $100, but they were new in box. And the solds I looked at at Poshmark were like 30 to 50. And these were $4.99. So hopefully getting somewhere like 30 to $50 and only paid five for them. So add two more to my purchase total. So we've got 17 from this haul. Then I got two items for myself. So first is this cute little outfit for a baby girl. <laughs> This was um, originally $6, so I paid $3 for this outfit. And then I got a jacket for myself. It's a Columbia jacket. It was 15, so half off I paid $7.50 for it. So that is everything I got. And like I said, the clothes are gonna be in their own video and in their own experiment, because I wanna see you know, how many of them sell within a week for $20 plus shipping. In addition to the 15 I picked up today, I also put in five items for my death pile so that there'd be an even 20 items at $20. Okay, I'm gonna get to listing. I would love to be able to get all 20 of these up today. Uh, it's 2.30, so that's possible. Let's see if I can get all these items listed today. It's now Tuesday night. Yesterday, I got the 20 items listed like I had hoped. So my listed total can go up by 20 items. So it's a good reminder that when I set my mind to it, I can list 20 items in a day and really I didn't start listing until, I don't know, sometime around 
two o'clock, one or two o'clock and easily got up the 20 listings before the end of the day. And I have six sales I need to package out today. So I sold two items from my $20 each challenge. So I'm not gonna show you guys those because they'll be in the other video. But I did have four other sales I will show you. So that shirt I picked up on, was it Sunday? I think so, so just two days ago. This one, the Sinful Affliction shirt, it has sold on Facebook Marketplace for my full asking price of $16. I think I probably said I was gonna sell it for 20, but um, there are actually two little pinholes in the front of it, so I listed it at 16 and, oh no. I guess I listed it at 16 and I got an offer for 15. So I sold it for 15 on Facebook Marketplace, 15 plus shipping. And Facebook, fortunately, has very low fees. So they will take a fee of $1.03 and I will make $13.97 and then I paid $1 for this. So I profited $12.97 and it was really easy to get listed. So I have three Facebook Marketplace sales. One is the Affliction shirt, one is one of the $20 items, and then I sold a pair of jeans. So it is this pair of Rock Revival jeans. They're the style, the Lose Skinny in a size 26. And I showed these in my last video. I picked them up for $8 and I listed them at 65, hoping I would get an offer for 50. I woke up to an offer of 40 on eBay and then I had someone message me later today asking if I would take 50. So they've been up for a week or two now. They've been listed for a week or two now. And I happened today to get a $40 offer and a $50 offer. And again, I was hoping that if I listed them at 65, someone would offer me 50. So I accepted their $50 offer. And I was also more apt to accept because again, it was on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook only took out a $3.10 fee. And again, I paid $8. So 50 minus 11, I made a about a $39 profit on these, which is fantastic. So those are my three Facebook Marketplace sales. Then I have two sales on Poshmark. One is for my $20 challenge, and then one is a Torrid cardigan. So this has actually been listed for about three months. So it's the only item of what's going out today that has been listed for longer than two weeks. And the Torrid Cardigan sold for $10. That's down in my inventory, so I will go get that right before I ship. And then I had one eBay sale, which I will go get now and show you guys. I am now down in my inventory room. We are doing some redoing of rooms, so I have a bed in here right now. <laughs> but normally this is just my inventory space. I did pull out the Torrid Cardigan, and now I'm gonna get the other item that I sold that's down here. If you saw my last video, you might remember these guys. They are Monk bookends. And I had them listed at $22 plus shipping and I got an offer today for 18 plus shipping on eBay, which I accepted. So these sold on eBay for $18 plus shipping. In my last video, there was a request to show more of how I actually ship. So I am going to do that with the six items I'm shipping out tonight. So what I do is start with one platform at a time because the shipping rules are a little different. I want to make sure I'm meeting the rules of the platform I'm shipping on. So since I have three on Facebook Marketplace, I'm going to start there. First is the Affliction shirt. I have a label that works up to half a pound for this shirt. So I'm going to want to make sure that I'm using a very light mailer and not a box. So I have this compostable mailer. It weighs about one ounce and then the shirt. And so I will just put that in here and put a label on it and it should be under that eight ounce limit. All right, so there we go. It is packaged up. And this is a going to be a USPS first class label, which means I cannot use any of the priority mail packaging. So for example, this padded flat rate, I cannot use that on this Facebook Marketplace label because it would not be enough to cover the cost. So this buyer only paid $4 for shipping, which covers a first class label up to half a pound. Next sale. <clears throat> Well, let's just go to this one. So this one is the Rock Revival jeans. I charged the buyer $8.50 with the specific plan of using a priority mail padded flat rate envelope. So Facebook has tiered shipping where you can choose exactly the weight and the label you want and they will create the label for you. But they also have the option to input that you want to use your own label and you choose a price and then you have to input the tracking afterwards. So that's what I do on jeans that weigh over a pound. So to ship on Facebook Marketplace through USPS, it would charge the buyer either 9.25 or 9.75.
but I know that a padded flat rate to me only costs around 850. So I just charge the buyer 850, put it in a padded flat rate, and then I input the tracking information into Facebook. So that is what I'm going to do for this sale. I'm just gonna put the Brock Revival jeans into this padded flat rate envelope. And with that, this one is also packaged up. Final sale on Facebook Marketplace is a sweatshirt and this one I said would be half a pound to one pound. And to make sure it is under the one pound limit, like the shirt, I will ship it in this uh, compostable mailer that weighs about one ounce and it should definitely be under that one pound limit. All right, and that is done. The sweatshirt is packaged up. Next up, I had two Poshmark sales. On Poshmark, you can ship in any of the priority mail packaging materials. So you can ship in the flat rate, you can ship in the padded envelopes, you can ship in boxes. So I'm definitely much more likely to use boxes on priority sale or on Poshmark sales. So I packaged with my one sale back here. The other is right here. So you can see I fold up the item, fill in the void, and um, shout out to Laura. She is a, a YouTube viewer who purchased this item. I don't always include thank you notes. I'm probably about 50-50. I try to just because I think that um, some buyers really do appreciate that. But if they're a viewer, I definitely try to uh, include a thank you note. So thank you again, Laura. I hope you love your item. We have made it to the final item, the two bookends. And I'm going to go check what I charged for shipping. I th I'm assuming I did priority mail. Okay, so it looks like I charged $10.55 and said I would ship it USPS priority mail. So I do have an assortment kind of a mess but I'll show you guys anyways I have an assortment of USPS priority mail boxes down here so these are priority mail boxes these are priority mail I got some down here but some of these are flat rates so this one's flat rate so if I use that it would cost probably more than ten dollars and I think it's too small anyways this one is uh, not flat rate but I don't think I need one that big so what I'm gonna do is instead is I have all of these extra boxes down here and up here so I'm gonna try to find one of my own boxes that will work for it and then I can still ship a priority mail but just input the dimensions of the box that I used. So I'm thinking this box might work well. You can see that when I put it in, I've got a little bit of space on the top and the bottom and the sides and there is space for both of them. So I can wrap them both up, put them in here and still have some void space around it to fill in with some extra packing materials so that we make sure they don't break in transit. I do ask my friends and family to save packing materials for me, so I have a lot of bubble wrap that I got from other people, so I'm gonna start with that, and if I run out, I do have this newer roll up here, but again, I try to reuse materials when possible, and then just use the other stuff if I run out. Okay, I've got them all bubble wrapped up, and now I'm going to fill in packing paper around them in the box. All right, so I put one in with packing paper below it and around it. Now I'm gonna put more packing paper in and then put the other in. All right, we've got a la layer of packing paper and then the final one, and now I'm just gonna fill in the rest with more packing paper. So these two guys are packaged up. They're, you can't, you know, no movement is happening. They're pretty solid in place. And I will have to weigh this one, and we'll see if I um, got the, sh the shipping price right or not. And it ended up weighing two pounds, one ounce, and the box is nine by nine by 10. The buyer lives in New Jersey and I'm shipping from Iowa. And for priority mail, it came out to $9.64. So I charged 10.55. So I was pretty close in terms of the cost there. And I'll get this shipped out now. We've made it to Thursday. So Monday, I listed the 20 items. Tuesday and Wednesday, I did not list anything. <laughs> Yesterday, I was just, really tired i'm not 100 percent sure why but we had like a team outing not just my team but like uh 50 people in our in our area at work and i was one of the two coordinators for the outing so i meant i was doing a lot of you know i had to wake up early and put stuff on ice and then pack up all the food and the drinks and you know find a spot to tailgate and you know, just being the host takes a lot of work, <laughs> but I didn't realize like how tired I was going to be. And I think it's because of all the tailgating stuff. So I went, I slept 12 hours last night and I did not lose anything cause I went to bed really early. And then tonight I was feeling tired, but I, I don't know, I feel good now. So I'm gonna get some stuff listed while I feel good. Or when I say feel good, I mean feel like I have energy. 
I'm gonna show you guys my haul. I told you at the beginning of this video that I had bought some stuff a week from Sunday ago, so now it's been about 10 days. And I'm gonna show you guys that stuff so I can get to listing that. So I went to a moving sale and I asked her like how much are the clothes and she was like, oh, a dollar or two. And so I just started feeling a tub of stuff and I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. And she wanted $20 for all of them. So I ended up paying more than $2 an item. So first I got this Timberland shoes cleaning kit and it sells new on Amazon for 41 with free shipping. And it looks like on eBay, I should be able to get about $20 plus shipping on it. Whoops. <laughs> so yeah, uh, cleaning kit for shoes, brand new, never opened. Then I am a sucker for Adidas. It is one of my favorite brands to wear. So I picked up the sweatshirt in a size extra large, this green Adidas sweatshirt. It looks like comps are only like 15 to 20, which surprises me, but I'm obviously biased because I like wearing Adidas all the time. So yeah, I was a little surprised to see the comps at that price, but it is in like new condition. I don't think the, um, the seller really wore this much at all. Next item I bought there was this Torrid jean jacket and it's a size three. It looks like comps for this were around 20 to $30. So that's about what I expect to sell it for. I got one more clothing item there, another toward item. This one's new with tags and it is a size 2X and it retailed for $46. And it looks like this shirt should sell for 15 to 20. It's like cute elephant print. So those are the three clothing items. I got two toward items and one Adidas. Then I got this pair of Ugg boots. They have this lace up in the back. This is one where I have the opposite bias of Adidas where I don't really like Uggs. And so I seem to avoid them. And I need to, I keep reminding myself, like a lot of people like Uggs, they have good value. Stop passing them up. <laughs> so yeah, so I saw these Uggs and I reminded myself of that. So I picked them up. They do have like a little bit of dirtiness, but I was hoping based on the comps and the condition of these, I'm hoping they'll sell for like 25 to 30. The, the bottoms are in really good condition, just have some dirtiness on the boots themselves. And then I picked up three purses. So first purse is this one. Oh, it's like the magnetic is getting caught. Anyways, it's this little tiny purse, really cute, and it still has tags on it. So it is from this brand, which I had never heard of before, Amy Kestenberg. And it retailed for $98, but it was on sale for $40 wherever. Oh, at Nordstrom. At Nordstrom, it was on sale for $40. But it's brand new. She never used it. Um, and it's just this cute little crossbody purse. So yeah, definitely worth two something. And for comps, I found the exact same purse. New with tags, had sold for $30 but there were two similar purses that had sold for 40 and 60. So I'll probably start mine at like around 50 and see what happens. And then I got two more purses or purse type items. So next was this Marc Jacobs. It's called like a tablet case. And it's just this little small tablet case or you could use it I'm sure for makeup as well. I found a new one listed at $60 and similar in used condition we're selling for like 20 to 25. And then finally, we have this cute crossbody bag from the brand Rebe Rebecca Minkov. I did find the exact style name and the comps were kind of all over the place for what other people had sold it for. So the first was $14 someone sold it for, then 15 was the second, so not very high. The third was new with tags and sold for 65. The, th the fourth was used and sold for 50. So we have four of the same exact purse. Uh, three used, one new, selling from anywhere from $14 to $65. So I'll probably start it around the $50, $60 mark, and I can drop it over time if I'm not getting any interest in it. But I do think like a leather crossbody black purse is a pretty um, like closet staple, at least for me. So hopefully I can find a buyer for that. And those are all the items that I picked up that garage sale a couple weekends ago. So I'm going to add those to my list to get listed, my pile to get listed. And I did do a count of how much, how many items I have in my death pile right now. 
So I have the VCR, still haven't listed it, <laughs> the printer, and then I have the eight items I just showed you. I have three figs scrubs that my sister picked up for me. And then I have 13 other items. So like that fossil purse I showed you guys, um, the two pairs of shoes that I got at the Salvation Army sale. So in total with those other items, there's 13. So in total, I have 26 unlisted items other than bridesmaids dresses and posters. I think it's been about 24 hours since I checked in last. I sold another item for my $20 challenge video. And last night I listed five things. So listed can go up by five. I listed three pairs of shoes, the Marc Jacobs tablet case and the Timberland cleaning kit. So five more items listed. This morning I went out garage sailing with my sister Deanne. So if you're new to my channel, I have four younger sisters. They all have popped up from time to time in mentions in my video. And our names go in alphabetical order, so I'm the oldest, Amber, then Beth, Cassie, Deanne, and Erin. So Deanne and I went out this morning and went garage selling. As I said last video, I'm trying to research garage sales more so that I optimize my time better. One thing I found is if you go at the beginning of a garage sale, you're going to find way better stuff. So yesterday I looked for garage sales that were Saturday only sales, and I found one that was Saturday only, and I could see stuff in the pictures that looked like I might want to buy it, and they had baby girl stuff. So my sister Deanne and I are both having baby girls within the next three months. So that was a draw. Anyways, the garage sale was definitely a good hit. Uh, I got $20 worth of stuff and all the adult clothes were $2 each. All the kid clothes were $1 each and I spent $20. So first is this brown women's vest from the brand Ariat. I love selling Ariat. Usually I pick up their cowboy boots and once I picked up a pair of jeans. I'm assuming the vest won't be worth as much as the cowboy boots and jeans are. Wow, so I just looked up comps. The first one I found that is the exact same sold, sorry, my ring lights reflecting there, sold for $53. Okay, I found another of the exact same one that sold for $21, another that sold for 20. See, that's more what I was expecting. I was thinking like, hopefully like 20 to 30 is what I'll be able to get for it. So another for 23. Okay, so there's one that's at 53, but then there were three of them right around that 20 to $25 mark, which is what I was hoping. So yeah, first up is this women's Ariat vest size large, and I paid $2 for it. Next item I got at the garage sale is another of my favorite brands to pick up, and that is BKE, specifically their men's jeans. So this is the style the Carter in a size 26 regular. Unfortunately, it is a smaller size, um, which I think might make it take a little longer to sell than normally BKE men's jeans do for me. They're more, I feel like, you know, a teenager is probably gonna fit this size. They also have a stain on the back. Next item I got at that sale was another pair of BKE jeans. This is in the style the Aiden and in a size 27 regular. Haven't looked this pair over for stains, but right off the bat, it's looking good. I will look them over more closely when I go to list them. But yeah, BKE Aiden in a size 27, and they appear to be in pretty good condition. Okay, so, so far we've had three items for resale from that garage sale. Here is another item. This is a Columbia women's sweatshirt, and it still has the tags on it. And I paid $2 for it. It retailed for 40. Hopefully I'll be able to get, you know, 20 to 25 consistent with the rest of these. But again, it's brand new, so that is great. And it was an easy pickup when I saw there was tags on it and everything was $2. All right, so here is a brand that has been, that I've heard other people say they pick up. And so it's been on my radar, but I hadn't found it until now. And this brand Zaya, so it is this half moon logo. So these are an extra large in Zaya activewear. And I'm not, I, I really don't even know what these resell for. So these are like a, um, what is the word called? Is it ombre when it goes from one color to the other? So ombre from black to white. And again, they're in really, really good condition. I, I actually have never found this brand. I don't think I've ever checked comps on it. I have just heard other people say that they love reselling this brand. So when I saw it for $2, it was easy decision for me to pick up. And like I said, they're in really good condition. First listing I found is an extra large sold for $25. I found another one that is a size six that sold for $35. One that's new with tags that sold for 50. 
another extra large pre-owned sold for 35 so hopefully i can get right like 35 dollars for these and like the other items that got sale, i paid two dollars for them i got one other pair of leggings and these i actually think i'm going to keep for myself but even if i don't they should resell well they are from victoria's secret pink and like the other leggings i don't really think she wore them <laughs> so these like i said i'm going to keep for myself I really like them. I think they're cute and they're in really nice condition. So that should have brought the purchase number up by six. So I got six items for resale at the garage sale for $12 total. And then I got some baby stuff. So like I said, she had a bunch of baby girl stuff. Um, first I got these cute little shorts. They're so, so soft. And that's what sold me on them. And then I got some sleepers. I've been told by a lot of people that you'll really use the sleeper bags called bags sleep sacks <laughs> that's the word um, so i got three of those and then i got this cute little outfit so that is everything i picked up at that first garage sale and like i said it it was a saturday only sale that i specifically looked up to go to first definitely worth it i spent twenty dollars got all that stuff and my sister also got a box full of stuff so that's my first tip is look for sales um, that start the day you're going out and hit up them first my second tip is to look through the pictures and try to find stuff in the pictures that you know you'd want to buy. So I was looking through a bunch of listings for garage sales because it was citywide. And I found one where I could see a pair of Lucky Brand booties in the pictures. Uh, I have sold many pairs of Lucky Brand booties. I pick them up for under $5, sell them for $20 to $35 consistently. So we went to that garage sale. It had been happening for a couple days, but walked up, I immediately saw the booties and they're even nicer condition. Like in the pictures, I couldn't tell the condition, obviously. I could just see from afar that it looked like Lucky Brand booties and they are Lucky Brand. They're in really good condition. I don't think she wore them. They are my size, which makes me consider keeping them for myself. Although I don't really wear gray that much for shoes. But yeah, size eight and a half Lucky Brand booties should definitely sell for 20 to $35 as I have done that probably 10 times in the past. And I was very happy to see a $3 price tag on these when I walked up to the sale, which made it an easy automatic purchase. At that sale, I did pick up one more item. It is this Walt Disney World sweatshirt. I know Disney stuff, certain items are like grails that sell for big money. And I wasn't sure if this was worth it or not. So I did look up comps while I was at the sale. It is a Disney size extra large. And it looks like this exact sweatshirt has sold multiple times for anywhere between $25 and $35 in the past. And I paid $4 for it. The next item is the only item I picked up at this garage sale. It is this International Harvester hat. I paid $2 for it. And I just have this feeling that this is going to sell for $15 really quickly on Facebook Marketplace. Maybe $12. I don't know. There's certain items that just seem to go really well on Facebook Marketplace. And we're going to try it out and see how this hat does. Next is a pair of biking shoes. So this sale we walked up and here's a perk of going on Saturday is people are often trying to get rid of things. So they will make deals with you and try to just move things. So we walked up and she immediately said, everything on that tarp's $2, everything else is on sale. So I picked these up, they were listed at 10. I asked them what they would be and they said they'd be $5. So I did buy them. I didn't look up comps on these, so let's check now. I just know that biking shoes are pretty expensive so I decided to pick them up and see 25 okay so I've seen three for 25 one for 45 and I will do a little bit more research to make sure I'm getting the exact style because it looks like those had a red interior the, the four comps I saw but they were the exact same style name um, so yeah so I paid five dollars for these hopefully I'll get 25 what did I say 25 was the average right but I will look up more specific details when I go to list them and make sure I'm listing the right style. At that same sale on the $2 tarp, I found this fossil gray crossbody purse. So fossil, like comps for something like this are gonna range from anywhere from like 10 to $30. Um, a lot of fossil purses are not worth that much, but there are buyers out there for them. And for $2, I picked it up. You can see they had it priced at 10 originally, but because it came out of Saturday and they had been sitting there for days, um, they did discount the prices substantially. So that's the good thing about Saturdays is you can find garage sales sometimes where they're discounting it. But there were also a lot of garage sales where we went to where all that's left are the stuff that's really overpriced and they're not willing to negotiate. This fossil purse I paid $2 for and we'll sell it hopefully around $20. If you ever want to know how much I end up listing stuff for, I usually have my Poshmark closet and eBay store linked in the description. So you can go 
um, click on the link and see what stuff is listed for. So far we're up to 11 items that I purchased this morning. Next sale was one where I picked up a bunch of little baby girl stuff. So first we have this little outfit. Then we have this one. I know this was 50 cents because I thought it was so cute. And now it's like 50 cents, easy purchase, shorts and shirt. This was actually at a different sale. I picked up a little toy for her. And at a different sale, I picked up this little Ralph Lauren dress with matching bottoms. And then I picked up two bassinet covers for 50 cents each. So I, I saw someone post that they had listed a vintage baby girl step dress with a bunch of ruffles and it sold like overnight for, I don't wanna say around $50. So I went to a sale and they had vintage baby girl clothes. They had like eight things and it looked like most were handmade and they weren't big and ruffly, but I did pick up a couple just to try it out. So first is this little top with matching bottoms and she had like three of these so I'll be kicking myself if this is worth a lot of money but I just picked up one to try it out. I also picked up this Raggedy Ann dress also to try it out see if it is worth anything. This was handmade so I'm not gonna be able to find the exact same item but I'm wondering if I can find you know something similar and see what this is worth. And then finally is this little purple and yellow vintage dress this one does have a tag with a brand so i can actually i'll just look this up now and see if it is worth anything so it looks like this dress maybe sells for like five or six dollars plus shipping so maybe what i'll do is just lot up these three items and sell them as one so i'm just gonna put my purchase total up by one because i think that's probably going to be the best way to get my money back next another little baby girl item these cute little boots paid one dollar for these those are not to resell then at another sale i picked up these nikes just because they were only a dollar and i thought they might be worth something like you know some nikes are worth really good money i did look up comps for these at the garage sale it looks like they'll sell for about 25 to 35 dollars i will have to put some elbow grease in to get these cleaned up but they are a women's 10 and again i think i should get about 25 to 35 once i get them cleaned up so this next item I learned about just recently from watching my friend Lori Tata. She has a YouTube channel, she is a reseller, and she was talking about how vintage Abercrombie & Fish cargo shorts can sell for really big money. And I think she said she had listed hers and it sold in like just a couple days for over $50, something like that. So I picked up these and I'm not sure if they are vintage or modern, so I will have to do some more research. And you'll have to check back to my next video to see how these do. But I paid $2 for them. And I did check really quick to make sure I remembered right. And I did look up Abercrombie and Fitch vintage cargo shorts and saw some sold for like $50 to $70. Unfortunately, I just realized that it looks like the button is missing right here. But there is an extra button. So if they are worth the $50 to $70, I will take the time to get this button moved to here. If they're only worth like 15 to 20, like some of the modern ones, I probably will just donate them. But if they're worth the 50 to 70, I will take the time to fix that button. And then finally, I bought another bridesmaid's dress. <laughs> I promised myself I was not gonna buy any more bridesmaid's dresses, but this one was only a dollar. And it is a style that came out in 2019. So it's probably still sold in the website. So yeah, I only paid a dollar for it and it's 2019 style. So I could not resist. I didn't see any flaws on it. So yeah, one more bridesmaid's dress is going in the death pile. 